Now when you're creating World War II, World War I, and mocks like this, you kind of want to do a barbed wire technique, so uh, let's see that. This is the technique in use in my World War I diorama that's going to be featured at World War Brick 2022. And fellas, like, how, how is this possible? How are we doing this? Well, it comes down to a couple simple ingredients. And that, my friend, is a credit card and money still available for you to charge on your credit card. <laughs> and then internet capability to order for BrickLink. Yes. The certain pieces that you're going to need is right here. Oh, so first of all, pieces. you're going to need chains. Now I recommend the long version. Yeah, you can use the short version, which we'll talk about that in a minute. But I would prefer the long version. You can use the short version and you need <laughs> A crap ton, all right? I mean, we're talking like, to do all those chains right there took about 150. Um, so, you know, depending on the size of your diorama, you might need 25 to 100. Um, Thousand. I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to talk about how you do this, and yeah, let's, let's get right into it. Take your chain piece, right? You got your chain piece, you straighten it out, and then you connect the one by one cylinder bricks to it and you're left with this right here. So it's very simple to do, but here comes the kind of hard part. You crinkle it, is what I call it. Now, you just basically, you twist the chains. The two chains there, and then you start to twist. Now this is a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you can do it, and you just twist it up there. And then once you get to this point, you've twisted a couple times, it's still a little loose. You wanna twist it one more, so where there's a little bit of a, uh, um, an imperfection in the chain line and that's where I usually stop you could go more if you if you want to it's just from there it gets a little uh, stinky and sometimes you can go ahead and get different effects but there's all types of different um, chain ways you can do I mean there's just a ton of differences that you can do so anyway you have that section right there then you get your base plate or wherever you're connecting and you connect it to it and you have a you know a really cool chain effect right so that's step one you just you do all those things and you got a nice line of chain that piece right there that allows you to get closer to the ground you can get closer to the ground so with that combination you can crisscross and that's what i've done there so you just simply overlap each one and that's how you get that random um you know labyrinth kind of look to where you know troops obviously really can't get through that easily so that's the kind of look you are going for and you can do is put one tall one and one short one and you have it um you know going down between each post so that can uh you can use a combination of things to get different techniques and different effects that you want on all if you do this technique and you do it you know a hundred times that's basically what you can get um you could even go crazier with this if you wanted to you could do double stacking i guess um there's different possibilities um you can also twist two of them at once together which is what i've done there you can just stack two chains and then twist them and then you get uh, more of a beefier chain but there's there's a ton of different um uses and techniques for this and you're looking at a very baby um, barbed wire there. I guess that could have some use, but I prefer definitely the longer ones. So all in all, that's a quick way that you can use uh, some simple pieces in your collection to make a really, really cool effect. So it's kind of all in the twist. It's how many times you twist it and what side you twist more than the other. So you can get crinkles. You can really have a lot of variants. Why do I look like Link on Mod Squad? Why did you let me film this without a hat? I need a haircut. Alright, anyway, but that's going to be the video. Thanks for this short little tutorial. I don't know how useful it was, but hopefully it helps you in your next mock. Let me know what other techniques you want to uh, for me to go over in mock building. I actually kind of stole this design from uh, another person on YouTube that we stole from like two years ago. So, yeah. Um, this isn't really my original design or anything, but... Um, yeah, so that's that. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications, blah, blah, blah. And we'll see you on the next one.